Hello everyone, it's Cisco Labs and this is Stoneblock 3. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I'm having pretty amazing with myself. Uh, in between episodes, I did a lot of stuff. So let's take a look, see, kind of move forward. Yeah, kind of get things done. I want to work towards finishing up the pack. Kind of first off here, I should probably state that. That is what I'm working for. And uh, we're going to kind of facilitate that. We're going to get to our transmutation tablet today. Uh, one of the first things I did here was work on my room a little bit. So I just used white and black blocks because uh, that's what we're using down here. Just kind of worked on the room a little bit. Got rid of all the stone that was in here. Uh, it's looking pretty sweet, looking pretty good. Had a little Futura blocks as well, kind of round it. And, uh, I like how it turned out. Uh, also, I went ahead and made my Draconic Armor, and I should cover that, because that's going to take a couple seconds here, because it is a little little bit of work. So I went ahead and made the, I guess the injectors, the Draconic ones. So you have to do that first. So I went ahead and did that. Super easy recipe at this point, so not a big deal. Then you have to go ahead and make all the armor, I suppose. So the armor would be the next step. Grab that, some Wicked Draconium, that jazz. You have to make the Wyvern tier first. Just kind of, you know, craft it, then inject it, and then you have your Wyvern gear. Also went ahead and made the Draconic Staff of Power, because this thing is ridiculous. Um, where is it here? It doesn't even tell you. What's that, 6 attack damage? No, mine's at 105 attack damage, so it's a pretty powerful little weapon there. Also went ahead and made the bow. The bow, once it's fully leveled up anyway, is pretty insane. It's like a machine gun. <laughs> you can change the settings on these things too so you have to set the key it's this one here i could tell you which one but i can't remember what it was by default just uh search for draconic and controls and you can see there you can change the rate of fire the base damage so mine's at nine auto fire oh you can auto fire that i didn't think so oh yeah i'm doing auto fire magnification shock wave that those are the ones there the shock wave and the explosion power those ones take a ton of power so this thing actually requires battery have this here, the Draconic Flux Capacitor. It'll just make it take a ton of power, which isn't a big deal, I guess, just because we have infinite wireless power uh, and a lot of power in that ball. But at the same time, I didn't want to push it too far. You also want to go ahead and make a Draconic Flux Capacitor. So I went ahead and did that. And once you have that stuff, you have the armor, you have the weapons, but you still have a lot to do. So what you have to do is go ahead and make these keys. So I have a whole lot of them here. I actually didn't use all of them. But if I go to, say, the Draconic Helm and hold control, You'll see there it says RF Capacity, Shield Capacity, and Shield Recovery. Those are the upgrades, the keys that we can use on this. So each one has kind of a list of keys that we can have used on it. You can see there, Movement Speed. I didn't bother with that one. Same as Jump Boost. Didn't bother on that one. Or Dig Speed. Or, yeah, I did everything on the bow, I guess. But to get this leveled up, you see each one says Draconic. You have to do the recipe three times. So I'll show you one of the keys here real quick. Just to show you how it kind of works here. Go here. Go to, I guess, Use on that. You will see. You first need to do the basic tier. That'll level up to tier basic. Then you gotta do it again. Gotta do Wyvern. Then you gotta do again and do Draconic. So this armor here has three at Draconic. Means I did that nine times. I injected it. Same here. Nine, nine, nine. This would have been nine. This one would have been 12. And this one would have only been three. So this took me about 40 minutes to an hour. It is time consuming. It does take a lot of time. But uh, definitely want to have it done, man. Especially on the, uh, the capacitor. Just so it can hold a lot of power. Uh, we're going to be using that to fight the Chaos Chicken today, so that's definitely something we're going to do here. Over here, I actually worked on cows, so you can see here we actually have Molten Infinity Cows now, and uh, they're pretty sweet. We're going to cast off some Infinity Against in a bit, and use that to help us make the Transmutation Tablet. But I only have nine of them so far. They're breeding time. Right now, you can see he's an hour and 13 minutes. I believe they are two hours to breed these guys, so it takes a massive amount of time. And I went through, you can see here, I had a massive amount of cows here. At one point, <laughs> trying to breed these guys, it just took forever. I think it took about eight hours to get two of them. So, yeah, and that's what you need, right? You gotta have your two, otherwise, you can't really breed them very much. But at this point, at least at every two hours, they double up. So, I'll go from 16 to 32 to 64 to 128. So, in eight hours, realistically, I could have 128, it'd be 129 of these cows. <laughs> it would get pretty ridiculous pretty quickly. And uh, I guess the last thing I did was over here. Let's head over this way. And uh, check this out. I just threw my turbine in the wall. So it's just sitting in the wall now. Just in there all snug looking good. And just have a place to put it. Because otherwise I didn't know where to put it. So that is the thing. So what we're actually going to work towards today. This is what I'm working towards. We're going to take a look at the. Um, what is it called? The transmutation tablet. We want to get the upgraded form of our table. So the tablet is a portable one. We carry around our inventory. Uh, most of this stuff, it looks like a lot, right? So it looks like a lot of stuff. But there's really, at this point, if you're here, uh, isn't that hard at all. I mean, 
We already have all the Neutronium. We already have all the Red Matter. The Interstar, Interstar, you just need a Dragon Breath. You can just EMC it. You just get it crafted, right? So that's not a big deal. We did those earlier in the pack. Black Hole units are easy. Chaos Shard is going to be from the Chicken. HDPE is a little strange in this pack. In the last pack, I don't think this had EMC. Now it has EMC, so we don't even need to go and set up automation. We literally need one pellet. Then we can take that pellet and make a sheet, then just use that to make EMC it, and then have the sheets, right? Then you're done. Don't have to worry about it anymore. We also have to make the energy condenser MK2, and then we're pretty much done. So let's actually go ahead and start this. Let's go ahead and make, I guess, the... What is the year? The... Um, what is it? Black hole unit, I think is what it was. Black hole... Unit, we should be able to kind of pump these out really quickly. <laughs> Probably need some of these. Let's do that. Let's just throw some of those in the system and uh, grab some of those units there. I don't even know why I grabbed that many because literally I need to do this. Everything in this pack now, I mean, it seems easier than the first one. I'm going to say that. This one definitely feels easier than the first one. And it's because everything has EMC. Like, it seems like everything in this one has literally EMC. <laughs> but anyway, we'll throw those there. Let's head over here. We need to go ahead and make our MK2 condenser. So let's go ahead and get that done. We will have to pop off this stuff. This was for the uh, Traconic level recipe, I believe. Let's do that. That stuff can go here, just in case I want to do any more. I just want to have this stuff kind of all lined up, all proper. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And there we go. Because that's a basic, that's a wyvern, that's a Traconic recipe. You use the same one over and over. You just need stacks of the stuff, basically. But uh, to get this going here, we need to take these uh, energy collectors and get them upgraded, I believe. So that will sit in there. Let's go ahead and get you out, you out, you out, you out, and you out. Pop you that way. I think we need a red matter. And we're just going to get these up to the third tier really quick. Uh, these uh, collectors too, I mean, they're used to produce the MC, but it's such a low amount that it's not worth our time, to be honest. Uh, we can speed this up to the actual charging with the time in the bottle. So let's do that real quick. It does sound horrible. <laughs> there we go. But uh, at least it works. Let's uh, pop that out there. Go ahead and get you gone. Do the same thing over here. Except for we're going to do the antimatter relay this time. The relay kind of just connects the connectors, kind of boosts them, and then kind of centralizes the MC in them. But again, we don't need in this pack at all whatsoever. So let's do this. <laughs> Why is this one taking so long, man? Okay, there we go. There we go. We've got a relay. Then we can kind of grab this stuff now, and we're just going to finish off this recipe. So I could just grab you and, I guess, the puppy right there. Three red matter, three dark matter, and I think it was two of these units as well. Then we should be good to go. So I guess you need ten for this one. But since we could just EMC the injectors, it doesn't even matter the amount of things you need. So that is something. Anyway, pop that in there. There we go. Speed up the charging again. There we go. And pop that. <laughs> it's so fast. Hey, wait. There we go. We got our condenser. Let's go ahead and uh, duplicate that puppy really quickly. Awesome. I guess I should pop it here. Grab like a stack of them. These things too were added to the recipe. I guess to get a use on them. To the EMC link. When I first made the EMC link, you only did the first tier. You didn't need the second tier. It didn't have those nether stars in here either. That was actually added li later, I guess. I wanted to make the recipe a little harder. At the same point. <laughs> it really doesn't add much, to be honest. Just another step. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get these puppies in here. I think they went in the corners. There we go. And that leaves us, I think, entirely, if we go and look at the tablet now, with HTPE, right? So we need a whole bunch of HTPE. So we need 12 of those. That is a mechanism material. And did a whole bunch of chaos shards. And, oh, we also need our fitty tickets. We could probably get those done real quick. We would need probably another stall. I think I'm out of stalls, too. <laughs> I'll have to make a bunch. Actually, did I ever EMC those? Because uh, that would have been brilliant. Stall. Yes, I did. Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a faucet. Oh, I don't have faucet, man. Seared? There we go. I don't have much seared either. I'm running low on all this stuff. We're going to automate cows. We're going to probably want more. I guess I'll probably not automate that way anyway. Anyway, let's drop you off. Then we will need a cast, which I'm pretty sure I have some. Awesome. And maybe that. That should be everything we need, actually. Cool. I think so. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, find our cows now. Our cows are this way. We already have a couple that are ready to breed, I think. So, or I guess not breed, but produce materials. <laughs> Let's do that. Go ahead and grab our pick. This staff power is ridiculously fast, too. So I actually have it not even sped up at all. 
that I could ramp it up way quicker. I just find it gets uh, near impossible to control at a point. Anyway, let's do you, pop you there, and we need a cow, uh, actual halter. Go ahead and grab one. I think we'll need two for this, but that's fine. Sweet and sweet, maybe, shift and right click. Cool. And do we only need, actually, do we really only need one infinity again? Is that how this is going to work right now? Yeah, it is. <laughs> that is crazy. Everything has EMC in this pack. Anyway, let's do that. I guess we'll uh, speed you up, speed you up, and then just cast you off, right? There we go. Awesome. So, we can just take that now, pop that in there, grab like a stack of them. That's going to, oops, grab like a stack of them. <laughs> well, maybe not a stack, but at least some of them. I mean, I should cast off the rest anyway. There we go. That way I can get the EMC out of them because these things have massive, massive EMC. I don't even have our EMC farm on at this point. We literally don't need it. I'm waiting on the cows because I think it's the only effective way to do it. Wait, I'll do that. We still have eight of them in there, so that's enough to breed. But I think we need eight right now. Let's do that. Pop you in there. Tons of EMC. And now we'll go and uh, set up the table here. So let's go to tablet. Check that out. Got uh, right there, so that's pretty easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the only thing left we need are the chaos shards and the HGPE. So what I'm gonna do is probably gather up a couple things. We'll get everything we need for the HGPE, then we'll go fight the chicken and then kind of push forward. And okay, we're gonna go ahead and set up HGPE probably pretty quickly here. It's a very temporary setup, so I'm not concerned about it at all. We're just gonna do like a little temporary setup, very temporary. We just need to get a little bit uh, going here. Then we should be good to go. Uh, we need some points though. Let's go grab a couple of them. Let's do that because power is a good thing. Maybe that many. 64. That's just a couple. <laughs> Bob out there. Go ahead and get some power to this. Using the crystalline cable. I think this can move 40,000 RF or something silly. Yeah, something like that. So that's good. First thing we're doing is grab the crusher. Pop that right there. And all we're going to use that for is to kind of crush down these saplings doesn't really matter what you use you can use other things but uh we need to have this biofuel so we're just going to get a good amount of that going really quick which is cool just let that do its thing for a couple minutes next thing we'll need is a i guess a electrolytic separator let's grab that we'll also need a prc which i have right here which is cool so we'll pop that right there then we need to get water in these puppies so let's go ahead and grab a sink here throw it on the ground because uh, that's a good place for it there we go Grab a couple. I think just a uh, pressurized conduit will work. Let's do you and you. Set that to extract. This one's going to start producing hydrogen oxygen. We need a little bit of that oxygen later. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab one of these tanks here, basic gas tank. Pop it right there. Then I should be able to grab one of these tubes here. We'll just throw that there. And that should start moving the excess oxygen to this one. The hydrogen that's in this one actually needs to go to the PRC. Uh, we need to set the sides on this machine here, though. So let's go set that to red. And that's going to start getting hydrogen. This thing really just wants some of this biofuel now. And then it'll actually start producing ethylene and substrate. We then need to take that substrate. That substrate is going to be what actually turns into the HDPE we need. But uh, we need some ethylene to do that. And, uh, I think we need it. Yeah, we need liquid ethylene form. So we need to convert this stuff uh, relatively quickly. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's actually grab a basic tank here real quick. Let's do you. Need to pull some of that ethylene out. These machines are really loud too. Nothing I can do about that, but pop that there. I need to set the side of that machine. This is the tool for the mod. It is the configurator. Super easy to use. Just kind of rotate it. <laughs> Move your mouse wheel until you find the setting you want. I want gases. I want to set that to out, right? I think that's going to work. Do I have to set that to pull? Why is that actually pulling ethylene? Can the ethylene not come out of the front of this? Is that a problem? Let's see your gases, auto eject on. Yeah, it looks like that should work to me. Okay, maybe that won't work. I actually don't even need this one anymore, so we'll get this out of here. These machines have some weird kind of sidedness quirks. <laughs> so sometimes I'm not sure if it's me, something I'm doing wrong, or the machine itself, but let's go ahead and do that. Grab this here and test it on this side, see if we can get that uh, tube filled with gas here. So it should be still on gas, right? Why isn't it actually pulling it? Oh, there we go. I finally got it there. So I should be able to grab uh, this basic gas tank now, I suppose. Pop it right there, right? And that should start getting the ethylene. So let's get a little bit of that. That's good. It's got its hydrogen. That's good as well. Maybe speed up these machines a little bit. There and there. Cool. So that is awesome. 
So that's just producing. Is this still getting stuff? Yep. Cool. It does. Everything's good in life. <laughs> Muzzle throw in. That should be enough substrate right there, actually. And that may be enough ethylene. Because we got three buckets and we literally don't need much. We just need to turn that into a liquid now, right? So I think we can grab this rotary condensator. Let's do that. Let's just pop this puppy here. Let's break this cable. We don't need any more. Let's grab that gas tank really quick. Sweet. And I need to get that gas into this machine. I can't remember which side of these go in. Anyway, we'll figure that out. Gas tank. We'll grab basic pressurized tube. Pump it right there, I guess. Grab that tank, I suppose. I think you can only pull from these tanks from the top and the bottom as well. But, uh, that is a thing. There you go. So that doesn't look like it's working. Uh, let's try this. Configurator on the bottom of that tank, right? I think that's something you can do. Output. There we go. That's actually going inside. And it's rotoring it, I think. <laughs> yes, we're actually getting our ethylene. Just hoping we're going to get one bucket, because I think we just need one bucket to get this done. And then the last thing I think will be another PRC, and then we'll be kind of finished here. So I'm actually going to break this one now, and this one, because I don't think we need them anymore. I'm going to grab our last PRC, which is right here. This one, right? Yeah, this one. Pop that puppy right there. From this one, we should be able to use a conduit, right? Just a pressurized conduit. Pop it here. Pull that liquid into this machine. I just need to set the side, probably. We'll do that in a second. That's good. This one should be just on insert. Cool, and I need to set this to fluids now, right? So it'd be green, I think. Oh, I guess it's yellow. There we go, it's getting the liquid ethylene. The last thing it'll need is the oxygen from here, which should be pretty easy to do, because I could just do that, right? Then go ahead and set this to pull, hopefully. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's set to, it needs to be set to gases, right? Gases, pull, awesome. I might have to set the side on this one as well. There we go. There we go. It's got ethylene. It has oxygen. I should be able to take the substrate now, throw that in there, and we're done. <laughs> Just like that. Grab that one HDPE pellet. Pop it in here. Grab a stack. Come over to here, I suppose. Get that turned into sheets. Isn't that what it is? Oh, that's what the sheet is. I was all scared for a second. It's like, no, it's not going to let me do things. Go ahead and drop the sheets in there, grab a stack of them, and we're finished. We can literally just uh, get rid of this, because this is useless now. <laughs> we literally have no use for this at all anymore. And uh, yeah, it, 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 it served its, person, its purpose. I really don't want to have to do a setup for it. If we don't need to, just do that very temporary one and uh, just call that a day. So yeah, where did the sheets go? I think it was all here, right? So it was like this. Awesome. <laughs> I made it look so easy. That's fantastic. So what else do I need here? I feel like I'm missing one more item. I can't figure out what it is. Tablet. Check that out. Yeah, sure. It's... Oh, do I have those in the wrong place? Is that what's going on here? No, there's something wrong here. What? what, what... Oh, I just need one more HCPE. I was looking at this lot and this lot going, why is there two items there? So the last thing we need here is to actually go and fight the Chaos Chicken. Once we fight the Chaos Chicken, we actually have our tablet. So I'm going to clean up my inventory, and then we're going to go do that, and then we're going to push forward. And okay, the next thing we're going to do here is go and fight the Chaos Chicken, I think. So let's get that done. Obsidian with a diamond block in the middle and a dragon egg, which should be super easy. Let's go ahead and uh, let's pull you out, grab you, pop you in, and we should be pretty much good to go. I think with this armor, we're going to be a little bit OP either way, so I don't think we really need anything else. So let's actually go right up there. I mean, we already have saturation and what else up there? We have uh, saturation saturation 3 and regen 3. So, I mean, we should be more good with this armor, I think, on top of that. I did come up here when I set the teleport and just used the uh, exchanger to make the entire floor obsidian. Just to kind of make the fight a little safer. And make sure I don't blow up my environmental controller that's down below. That's giving us our buffs. But anyway, we'll throw that in there. Make that do its thing. Looks like we're getting a chaos chicken. Kind of watch this guy. <laughs> it looks so peaceful. It's going to get so big though, isn't it? Just like the last one. I love this animation. This whole process is pretty cool. I'm not sure what this one's like. I can't see this guy being hard. Unless like a whole bunch of pillars are going to pop up here or something. And we have to, you know, deal with that. Uh, with flight and stuff I, I think this could be pretty easy but we'll kind of see how it plays out here i also with a fully upgraded draconic i can't really see it being too much of an issue 
It does look pretty sweet though. That I really like the light effects. Those actually look pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty awesome all around. It's actually breaking the ceiling and stuff too. That's kind of neat. Sweet. Let's grab a couple screenshots just in case I want to use those. Anyway, let's get uh, Boot back a little bit. See what happens because I'm sure he's coming here in a second. <laughs> Not that I'm really concerned. We got a machine gun bow. We'll see how it goes. Come on. Do your thing. Bam. He's got feet. Ooh, his feet though. Oh, his egg's cracking. Oh, I forgot one thing. We need to grab this, the chicken stick. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to break a shield. What? <laughs> okay, he shoots before. What's he trying to blow up? He put a lot of stuff in the ground there. I've been waiting for this time to come. Oh, he talks. There's no future for you people. <laughs> your fate is in our hands. What do you mean by you people? What do you mean by you people? There we go. He's got a shield. Let's go ahead and hit him. Awesome. He actually looks kind of neat. And then we should be able to hit him now, right? So if I go, oops, there we go. <laughs> oh, he barely even hurt me when he hit me. Oh, he's shooting eggs and stuff though. That's unfortunate. See, I think I just killed him. Why is his health coming back up? Is there another stage? Nope. <laughs> that was actually really easy. Uh, ridiculously easy with this armor, I think, and this bow. So, yeah, pretty cool, though. We did get our Chaos Shards. And I actually want to fight him again. I just want to see that whole thing again, because we did a little quick. I want to see if he does, like, any different kind of fight stuff other than the other one. Because the other one had three attacks. He had the charge, which he did. He also had the little egg things. But he also did just an explosion. I didn't see him just do an explosion. And I would think his explosion would be way bigger, right? <laughs> he should have the biggest explosion of them all. And uh, I'd like to see if I just missed, like, you know, a bit of the fighting there. He was super easy, though. Like, super easy. I mean, on the ground, I guess. Maybe a little bit of work. Maybe to make this fight a little harder, um, they could disable creative flight in this area. That'd be cool. When he spawns in, do the same thing that the, the guy does. You know what I mean? Pretty cool, though. Pretty neat. Really well done, I mean, for a new boss. It just, uh, I tried to do the amazing job all around on these bosses. I'm really, really, you know, I just don't know how he did it. Apparently, it was an insane amount of lines of code. <laughs> he, he was uh, half crazy by the time it was done, but uh, it was really awesome all around. Look at that. Got your egg, gets his legs, makes a dragon sound for no reason. Charges, breaks his egg. And he just kind of breaks his egg by himself. It just takes a while, right? This way it works. Huh. You're gonna talk? What do you mean by we people? The speech is a nice touch, I have to say. And he's gonna break the shield. Do that. The hitbox is a little weird on him. You have to aim a little lower. It's like it expects you to always be on the ground when you're fighting him. I'm gonna let him stay alive for a couple seconds now. Just gotta see if he does anything different at all. This too, a lot of people are asking me where to get the Dragon's Breath. That is it. Like it, it's in those spots there. A lot of sometimes it's on the ground too. It's where he shoots his laser. It's just really hard to pick up. It's annoying, and you can only get one, like from one of those spots. Uh, hey, stop that. <laughs> he hasn't done anything else yet. He's just doing lasers and shields and these guys. Can you not hit them? Huh. So these are like the uh, Chaos Dragon things they shoot at you, I think is the idea. Except for it doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> There's no way you could kill me. He doesn't seem to be doing any other attacks. I was expecting an explosion out of this guy. That would have been pretty massive. Would have been nice too if they added the Draconic Explosion to his death. <laughs> Maybe a smaller version of it would have been cool. Uh, I think it's time. It's time, man. It's time to end this. There we go. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty awesome. I like that little effect too. That actually looks pretty cool. Boom. Grab him too. <laughs> cool. I really like that. That is awesome. Anyway, let's head back to the base. Let's get that done. Let's go back to you. Home. We'll go home because that's where we live. I know that was quite uh, well thought out there. Uh, we should be able to EMC the shards, which is pretty awesome. So we should be able to just go something like this, right? Grab you. Do that there. Cool. And then I just need to find our table, and uh, we should be able to grab ourselves an actual transmutation tablet. Let's get that done. 
Bam, 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 and bam. Oh, there's four more. There's four more bams to go. There we go. There we go. We have it. We're done. I transmute. Quest completed, which is pretty awesome. Immediately teach that to you here, right? Do that and do that. And uh, we might as well, since we're here, go ahead and make the chaotic. Um, I guess we need to make the chaotic injector, right? So we'll need a draconic, a chaotic core. So let's go grab that stuff. I think I have most of that stuff over here. Go ahead and grab like four of them and four of these, right? And what else do we need there? Is it just uh, one of these, right? One chaos shard? So let's get that done. It looks super easy. So might as well do it. Then we'll have our actual Tome of Knowledge. Once we have the Tome of Knowledge, I mean, you could realistically call the pack done because you have access to everything in the tablet that, um, you know, that, that that can be crafted by the tablet. It unlocks it all. So pretty crazy in that regards. But anyway, pop that all up there. Pop one of you in there. Start that puppy. Maybe speed that up. It's going to take a lot of power, isn't it? <laughs> I don't have this thing properly charged at all whatsoever. Did we get uh, cryo stabilized at some point? I never made them, but uh, did we get any as rewards? We did too. I should have wired that up on the back of this because that would have went way faster. We probably can't do it while it's going, but uh, we could definitely try here. Let's, uh, let's do that. Need this as well. Because <laughs> this is going to take a massive amount of power, right? Might as well speed it up a little bit. There we go. Is that actually going better now? Oh, it definitely is. That sped things up massively. I could just do that and call it a day. Cool. And uh, yeah, we got our first chaotic core. There we go. I guess and uh, just teach that to here, right? So do that. And then grab a bunch of them. How many do we need for the injector? Oh, just one. So we need that, that. And how many diamonds? How many diamonds is that? Four diamonds. That seems like a really cheap recipe, actually. Let's go one, two, three, four. Do you? Sweet and sweet, right? And then we need four diamonds, which are right here. One, two, three, four. That'll be our recipe. And then we just need to steal one of these injectors here. I think we only need two of these, actually. So that is pretty easy as well. So yeah, not too bad at all. Anyway, let's do that. Grab you. Put you inside the injector. I'm gonna just kind of charge up really quickly now. Cause so we got lots of power coming to this. Should have done that sooner to be honest, but I didn't. <laughs> Here we go. Got the chaotic, which is awesome. Which is also a quest. Let's go in there, grab the uh, fusion crafter. Oh, this one doesn't have a uh, EMC. First thing that's been in game that hasn't have had uh, EMC on it. <laughs> Anyway, let's do that. We needed what? Four diamonds, I think it was. Three, four. It was one of them and one of you, right? Ah, messing up everything. There we go. That looks good. Right there. Right? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's try it one more time. One, two, three, four. Then we grab the actual chaos shard, that, and oh, I have that wrong, don't I? Here and here. And here, what am I doing wrong? I don't have the totally wrong. Oh yeah, an injector here. Let's do it that way. Let's start that. Awesome. Did I teach this chaotics really quick? I need to check real quick. Is that chaotic? Okay, good. For a second there, I didn't think I taught it. I was just like, oh no. Me need those later. Sweet. Then we got our second chaotic fusion crafter. I guess we could just uh, bring two of these. So we just go like that and that. We can pop one right here. One right here, and uh, we only really need two more components. So let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, what is it called? The Tome of Knowledge. Tome of Knowledge. Check that out. We need one chaotic core and an endus pearl. So let's grab a couple of neutronium. Neutronium. We happen to have a couple. We need some endstone, which we uh, we have tons of that as well. What was the last component of that? Ender pearls. I think we can manage that as well. And, uh, we should be able to shift click that in here now. Grab one of you. Oh, we need a nether star. Nether star would probably be something we should grab. So you, nether, sweet. And maybe, oh, if I could actually click on the right things. Come here. There, there, there. We've got our endus pearl, which uh, we, again, should be able to just uh, EMC, right? Yep. 
do that. And for the actual tome, all we need is that and chaotic core. So we're pretty much finished here. I don't didn't notice how much power it was, but at the same time, I'm not really that concerned. And then chaotic core go in one of the chaotics. And then we want the Endus Pearl and the other chaotic. Cool. And then we're gonna grab one of these transmutation tablets. Start that puppy. It's charging really fast. It's not even much uh much power at all. <laughs> Let's speed that up. And bam, we have the Tome of Knowledge. Now, I have done a lot of the quests here. You'll notice I have done a bunch. And there was good reason for it. Like, kill a pigman with a skeleton gas. Really no reason. I mean, I've been, I killed with a skeleton, so I just haven't done it manually. Um, the dolls, I didn't need any of these guys. Um, the upgrades for E, never needed them. Barrel upgrades, don't need them. That, in power, just to do the large crate seemed kind of pointless to me. I did do all the chickens, except for two of the minor quests here. I did all the cows except for like seven or eight of them, I think. I did all that quest line. I did everything except for mob spawner. Again, you don't need it. You have EMC on everything. There's no reason for it. Uh, down here, this quest line here is actually kind of silly. It's just an EMC quest line. I mean, you can do it, but this is the real one here. If you have this, you could do this many times over. This thing here takes massive amounts of EMC. So if you go to uh, star here, where is it? Yeah, look at that number there. <laughs> <laughs> that is massive apparently there's like the full add-on he doesn't have it fully enabled but the last one of these stars is actually like infinite emc and uh, it's not in the pack so it's really just a crafting simulator kind of kind of quest there so i'm not really interested in that one uh the infinity armor i just destroyed the hardest mob in the pack in half a second uh with with draconic armor so there's really no reason for this I may do it in the next video. Maybe we'll finish off this one and this one. Um, just so we can call it done. I'm not going to do this quest line because we bypassed it with the actual cows, the infinity cows. That was kind of my whole point of trying out the infinity cows. So we know now that infinity cows are really slow, but at the same time, they're really powerful. So the next video, all it's going to be is probably doing this quest line here and then our actual EMC farm. So definitely could be the way it is. But uh, I am going to wrap this video up here. So as always, guys, like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. See you guys next video. Later.